Yeah? That is good. You'd pay that for the Tupperware box, <laughs> wouldn't you? I like that. That's my favourite so far. That's really good. 20. 20. Yeah. Salah. Salah. Hi guys, welcome back. We're on tour with Dridgers. If you're new here, we're a full-time travel couple for the UK. We are currently in Bangkok, Thailand, and we are in a local area called Klong San. I'm just taking a walk down our road because the evening's come and that means the street vendors are out. So when the street vendors come out, that means we're gonna try every single street vendor down this road. The thing is, it's gonna be hard. The whole menu is in Thai and they probably don't speak any English. So it's gonna be a just, challenge. It's the fun of it. We don't know what we're gonna eat. Google Translate will probably be my new best friend when you go to the menu. So literally this is the first one outside our hotel. So do you know what you're getting, Ben? Hello. Um, what is this? One five. Is it like a uh, donut? Yeah. yeah? Okay, one. One. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> cup and cup. They don't mind? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Condensed yes. milk. Sweet. Well, I don't think people just go up to it and get like one of these. Yeah, but we want to try them, don't we? It's like a deep fried donut and then she put like a condensed milk over the top. I think you can get like loads of different toppings. They had like chai tea, padam, like loads of different ones. And we're just going basic because we've got quite a lot to eat through. Mmm. Oh. Yeah? That is good. It's good. It's like a warm donut. Oh. But not as fluffy, look like chewy. Yeah, it's more like deep fried, so it's a, it's a bit, um, what's it, like oily. And no, that's not deep fried. Yeah, but it's like oily and crispy. But it's got like a chew to it. Oh, it's really nice. And the condensed milk makes it really sweet and nice. That's literally outside our hotel. How did I only just find out about this? I know, we might have to get some more on the way back. Mmm, let's see how filled we get. Five bar, very good bargain. Uh -huh. That's crazy. For a side street, this is so busy. But the good thing is, it's a one-way street. But I think this is going to be our next one. We walk past this every day, it's like grilled meat. This one? One. 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 Yeah, we're fine. Uh, What's in there? Pork. 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 Yeah. Pork. Do you got one of them? Let's see what it's like. I think she cooked it. Have a look, she's taking it out of there. Oh, yes. Uh, and then puts it on there. Right, you have rice. Do you want yeah, rice? Should we get a rice too? Yeah, get one. Yeah, yeah, one rice. Right, one. One rice. This looks like crispy pork, doesn't it? Yeah. Pork. Chicken. chicken, is that chicken? Chicken. Yeah. Ah. Ah, I see. Oh. So it's like pork wrapped in a banana leaf. Interesting. <laughs> Very nice. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Mm. How much, Cap? How much? Uh, 50. 50. 50. Yeah. Cap. Yeah. Cap. Right, and I want boys to dust. 50 baht. Let's, uh, let's go and try it. Yeah, let's there. Oh, this is a good little quiet area. Yeah, found us to have a little, nice little quiet area. That's the thing, on the side of the road, you've got like a load of motorbikes, a load of cars, so you've got like these little side alleys to try things. I'm literally going in for this pork. It looks like, kind of like a sausage, I'd say. It looks like rice and like loads of pork fat in there. It literally reminds me of toy sausage. It's just falling apart in the bag now. I can't really pick it up. It's just like literally crumbling. What is that though? Does that look fat? Look at that juicy bit of fat. Nice. Mm. That is good. It's full of a lot of flavour. Very fatty. If you're not like a fan of fatty meat, you won't like it. It's so literally like a sausage without the skin. It reminds me of a um, sausage roll. Look, like, you know? No, it's not as minty, not as fine. It's like chunky. And then the chicken, we've literally just got a ledge of chicken. 
but we'll just see what the meat's like. It looks really nicely grilled. It smells amazing. Mm. I just falls apart. That was really nice chicken. We walk past her every single day and say we're going to get some, and it is really good. And we're true to our word. Mm. Right on to the next. That's it. Working our way through, but like this is like mega cheap. But I mean, I mean, if you was on a budget, you'd literally just like come out of your hotel, go to your nearest vendor, and just spend like what the equivalent of like two pounds on a meal. Absolutely brilliant. I don't know whether like this is a busy street because there is a lot of shops down here. We've got like Tops Daily, we've got Lotus there, and obviously a normal 7-Eleven. So it is quite busy. So I think that's why vendors go here. Oh, should we go here? Yeah, we do. What are we gonna have? Oh, I like the look of that one. Cow pow, cow pow. Cow pow. What's this one? Uh, 50 baht. 50, 50 baht. baht. 50 baht. Yeah, yeah. Baht. Should one we get one of each? One yeah. Of each, yeah. This one and this one. And this one. Yes. Yeah. So these are like pre-made meals. So she's got like a rice cooker there and then she can cook eggs there. Uh, I don't like one. Huh? Spoon, yes please. Spoony, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Paprika. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you. Oh wow, we've got like two massive meals here. Oh, oh look. I know, we've got like straight in front of us another two one. Let's go over here and see what these meals are like though. I know one of them is the traditional cow pal. Cow pal. Yeah. And then the other one looks like sausage meat and like mixed fried rice. Um am I just cracking on? Just crack on Ryan. Don't, don't wait for me. Oh, it's like sausage meat. Oh, it smells good. So like, it's got egg in it, carrots, kind of like a fried rice. Mm. That was a really good rice. I'm gonna grab a bit of the sausage with it. Mmm, it's like a sweet sausage. Mmm. Oh, that's really nice. Is it like honey? Yeah, it's like glazed sausage kind of like a shirtso sausage with like a glazed honey on it and then you got like an egg fried rice there's loads in there and like cut up meat wow these are really good i like that that's my favorite so far that's really good there's in like massive tupperware yeah back in england you'd pay like that price which is what what 50 so it's like less than yeah, it's about a pound you'd pay that for the tupperware box <laughs> wouldn't you <laughs> These are the meals I like in Thailand when you can just grab them and go. It's very convenient. So we've got our rice, our cow pow, which is like uh, mint and ba Thai basil and chilies in it. And then we've got like a fried egg. So we're going to break the egg. Oh, that's a good egg. A bit of rice and a bit of all the meaty, juicy parts. It's quite bland with like a subtle kick. It's, it's nice, but I prefer the other dish. It's not really much going on with it. Don't say, don't say it too loud, she's hungry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, I've had a better one though, but yeah. for the price of it, and on the side of the street, not too bad. Do you want to try a bit? See what you think. I was about to say that I should be tasting the next one, otherwise I'm going to starve to death. <laughs> You're actually a fan of this dish though. Mm. I like it, I think it's nice. Mm. It's almost like, like the fatty bits of the pork, which are really like juicy and um, no, it's the best bits, the most unhealthy bits, which are the best bits. Hello, hello, hello. hello. One, uh, four, yeah, one, two, one. three, four. It's a four. Uh, yeah, four. cap, cap four. Oh, and the sauce. And the sauce. What's what's this? Oh, pork huh? like dumplings. Oh, like dumplings. How much? Twenty. Twenty. Fifty. Yeah, no, no, no. That's okay. 30. That's 30. Is that different? Do you want them? That's just a smaller pot then. Oh, okay. Uh, no, it's okay, just this. Yeah. Cap. Thank you. Straight, straight here, straight here. What are they? I don't know. Uh, this one. Um, good one? Yeah. 20. 20. Yeah. Salad. Salad. Is it? Sweet. Rice. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no,
ฉันถึงได้นัดแนะนำให้ลงไปในที่พร้อมจะพาตักตลอดเวลาไม่ยอมจะต้องมีรูปของมันเป็นมิสทรีซูสต้องรู้ว่าอะไรคือเสียงที่ไม่สปอยซี่เลยจะเป็นแบบสวีทอ่ะครับ I'll let you try this next one first. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Right. Let's go around the corner and uh, try another dish. It's well good this ride. I'm really, I'm really quite enjoying this. I'm gonna try this. We got four different skewers. You saw us getting the first one. Not actually sure what even meat they are. I'm gonna go and try them. First one. So the sauce on there is like a sweet chili, but it's quite, it's quite spicy. It's got a little kick. I don't know if that's from the sauce or from his chicken. And it's got like a, it's like a batter on the outside, so it's crispy as well. But the chicken's like really moist, uh, almost like a processed chicken, but like a good one. So you got like a wide selection in there. That's a different one. I wanted to know what that was. Yeah. See, that's that's the same as the last one, with the coating on the outside. But this one's pork, and yeah, it's got a little bit spicy as well. All right, I'm gonna try it on. It's like a meatball dumpling with like a crispy batter on the outside. That sauce makes it, but it's got like a herb in it. It's definitely chicken. Oh, really good. Right, the next one. This is totally like, confused me what this is. I don't know what it I'm is. I'm not but... really sure what that is. No, no. Let's try it. Mm. A little bit crispy. I think it's roast paper with the spinach inside. And it's got like some flavour, like some spices and stuff. As I say, it's a little bit crispy. So it's like um squared one. Try the, that one, that looks a bit different. It's got like a balsamic sauce on it. That sauce I put on it. But it's like sweet. Mmm. Yeah, this one's different. Oh yeah, it is. Yours is like um, rubbery in the middle. The one that's it, it, eaten, it almost like, tastes like it's a little bit like it's got mint in it. Spinach, like mint. Chili, yeah, it's got a kick in it. Roast flavour, ro roast flour and chilli. That's got a kick though, but it's really weird. It's like, um, <clears throat> like a squarey, spongy texture oh, look, with I've chilies seen, on I've, it. I've chilies. Yeah. Yeah. The sauce is the best part of it. Oh, it's no. like a sweet balsamic yeah, sauce. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, like a balsamic. Mmm, it's really nice. All right, the sun is probably starting to set, so we need to speed along. Yeah. But this last bit, we're getting near to the end. It's like four, five here. Don't know whether they look the same, whether we're going to do all of them. One of them I saw earlier looked like fish, so we might pass that. They look like shellfish. Maybe, don't I? Well, I do have to say that this is a normal street in local Bangkok. This is not like a special street. So if you come to Bangkok, it's very easy to find good street food. Let's cross over. Here they've got a whole fish. We're not going for a whole fish then. But they haven't got like whole fishes there. <laughs> We're gonna give that a pass. And also they've got like shellfish. You don't want none of that, do you? Uh, like shellfish. Oh, is that morning glory? Uh, morning glory. This. Is this morning glory? Morning glory? It's probably not toy word, is it? Pork. It's got pork in it. Can we have this? Yes, one. One. Yeah? A bag. 50. Okay. So we have got like shellfish, but we've gone for this. We think it's pork and morning glory, and then we've got two portions of rice. For dinner, we got. So we'll probably have to try this one back at our place because it's in a bag. Oh, thank you. Come and car. Yep. All right, next one. What's this one? Uh, sausage. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Yep. Yeah, we've got so many here, we're like all in a row, so we can get loads of stuff and then we'll go and try it all. Hello. Mm -hmm. Two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cap. Yes, please. 26. 26. Cap. Cap. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, two. Uh, I think you meant to like pick it yourself. Oh, yeah, <laughs> she, she's alright. Should I do this one, sir? Okay. 
So you like pick it yourself, put it in the basket, and then she'll deep fat fry it for you. We should know this by now. She dropped ours in there, that's someone else's food. So she just dropped our meat in there, closed it and leave it in there, so fatty goodness. With the scissors, she'll score it all the way down. So obviously, when she puts it into the oil, it gets all the inside all juicy and nice. So, looking forward to this. Ah, see, that's how you meant to do it, by this guy's done. Just turn up and pick your food, put it in the basket. I do love how helpful they are. Like, they do show you what to do, because you find a way to communicate every time, don't you? Like, oh, yeah. Just, there's always a way. Us acting like an idiot, they're probably like, no, that's how you do it. <laughs> I'll have a Winnie the Pooh apron. Spicy sauce? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. Uh, okay, yeah. All right, get over here and try some of this food. We're like, go over and upload some food. I told you there's so many close to each other, but the one I want to go to next, it needs its own moment. The first place we went to is kind of like a pancake wrapped around a sausage and a quail's egg. I've never seen this before. It smells exactly like a pancake, like you'd think. Let's have a look. Oh, it does look good. Just lost a bit. Mm. It's got a lot of like fresh herbs in it that gives it like a freshness to it. And then you've got the sausage. I didn't taste the quail's egg. Where's the quail's egg? I don't know if we got one with quail's egg. I feel like we did. I'll try a bit. Unusual. Yeah, the pancakes look sweet. Tastes like eggy inside. It's weird. I don't really. Did you watch it? Oh, was it egg yeah, no, scrambled? No, yeah, they put the put the uh, put the quail's egg inside and they did, did scramble it. Um, by the way, all the food we're tasting, we don't really know what we're getting. So <laughs> in the comments, if you if you don't mind, it'd be so kind. That is really nice. That pancake thing. I wish I got a few more though, because one's literally gone in thirty seconds. Mm. That was really nice. So like the sweet and savoury put together. I always like things like that. Um, next, I'm gonna go for the toy sausage. We got one each, so we can both try one. One for you. Danka. One for me, and we got our goodie bag. So if you come to Toyland, you have toy sausage, and they don't give you a goodie bag, it's not a toy sausage. So we got our cabbage and ginger. Oh, oh you're supposed to eat them together, yeah? Yeah, and a chili. Do you want a chili? Yeah, do so it. So you got together. your ginger. Yeah, I mean, we've had these the before, cabbage. and you are supposed to eat them all together. That's the thing. And That's your chilli. But don't over, like, bite a bit of chilli off, because then, like, I think you should bite a bit of ginger off, a bit of this off, yeah. and then wrap the sausage around in the cabbage. Otherwise, they overpower the flavour of the sausage. Yeah, I do believe these sausages originate in the Isan, the Isan region of Thailand. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm just trying the cabbage with mine. The Thai sausage is normally stuffed with rice, and got, like, um, some spices and some herbs in there. I'm gonna go all in one. I don't. Are I'm, you actually? Yeah, I think there's there's probably a better way of doing this, but I'm going all in one. He's got a whole bit of ginger in there and a whole bit of chili. Stalk as well. Look how much is in his mouth. He's put the whole wall there, and I'm like pointing to mine still. We'll get back to him in a minute. Let uh, him chew. Downloading the data, processing it. Mm. Chili, not chi the chili's not hot. I don't know if it's overpowered by the ginger, but yeah, it tastes a lot of ginger. I think you should bite a bit off each, as yeah. I said. Having said that, the sausage, delicious. Mm, that's a really good sausage. The skin's got a really good crunch on it. You know it's inside, they put like rice inside. Yeah. It makes it cheaper, and that's the way they do it. And it's really good. And we spent 13 baht for these sausages, and you've got like two balls on there. One thing about Thai food, you'll notice as soon as you come to Thailand, is it's very, very, very cheap. Oh. But, and, and the reason why it's very, very cheap it's because everything is locally sourced, nothing's imported, so they don't pay to get it shipped over and stuff. That's why it's so cheap and that's why it's so good. So the last vendor, we got the two sausages, or I think sausage wrapped in like a wonton or crispy something. That looks world class. But the good thing is they gave me a bag of cucumber and I absolutely love cucumber. Then we got a spicy sauce, we're going to open this. It's good and badly. Oh nice, staying up alright. Ah, experienced. All right. We got a sausage. Oh, like Ben said, it got cut so the heats, the oil goes into the middle of it, so you don't have a cold center. They know what they're doing. Dip it in the sauce. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I think it's another sweet chili sauce. Literally, our favorite sauce. In one. Just like a hot dog sausage. Yeah. I thought we um got a cheese one, but maybe they didn't have any left. That is really good sauce. It's got like a good kick to it, but the sweetness like settles it out. 
So we've got two of these, the other one's just going to be the same. But this is the one. I saw someone get one earlier on and I was like, I need to try it. I'm not sure what the outside is. I don't know if it's like a one prong. I want to try and dip it in, but can I get take, it in Take now? off the stick. Nah. So we've got a bit of sauce. Good crunch. Mm. I recommend that one like 100%. It's like a crispy Dorito outside. I think mean, it's like one ton, I think you call it like that. And then the sausage is like more like tinned hot dog sausages. It's nicer than the other one. That's really nice. And these were 30 baht for three of these. I was like, I thought them big sausages were 20 baht, but it all come to 30. Yeah, so we've seen this like noodle van every time. It's outside the Lotus here and um, it's always like really, really busy. So we've gone for like some like pork noodles. Um, see what we get. You've got some pork bean carp there, and then they cook the noodles in there, so you get like the broth and sauce from there. But look at it, it's smoking, all smoked, and they're like a barbecue flavour. The best. The golden rule is always eat with the locals, and all the tables are cooking, so we've had to get it for a takeaway, which is a bit annoying because we wanted to like see the table, but oh well. Cut up some more pork there. We're going to try this back our room along with obviously I think they were morning glory whatever them green things were but Ben's ran back to our hotel because we've literally about to run out of battery in our GoPro and we still got one more place we want to go so we've come and Lotus we've literally got like a bag of juice and our noodles are wrapped in paper bag we've got cutlery but no plates or nothing so is there anything here yeah. what are yeah. oh that'll do yeah. 35 baht I'm assuming I hope so all 52 we don't need chopsticks Ben We've got some. Okay. Alright, let's get them. We're not sure how much they are. So the last dish of the day is a banana and chocolate broti. This place here. So chuffed, isn't you? This is like my favourite food. Miss Sweet Tooth. And the like, queen. And it's like um, green colour. Look at that. And Ben said he don't want none, so this is all mine. Oh, I might have a taste of it. No, I want the green man. Chocolate banana. because it's getting dark now we'll show you the last few things we've got to eat we're going to try the two dishes that we couldn't try earlier on we've got our trusty new bowls i've got the noodles wong tong with the barbecue pork it was pork yeah barbecue pork we got some greens in there these wong tongs look at that very good and that's good so the broth and the noodles were separate so we've mixed it together but look at these noodles they were like fresh noodles as well i was watching them put it in the steaming bowl of water mm. 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 <laughs> they are really good they've got like a little bit of a crunch that's when you can always tell they're fresh so i've been really looking forward to trying a bit of this pork it looks like smoked barbecue pork mm. Mm. that is really nice a little bit of a chew to that so we've got, i'm gonna assume like pork stuffed in them Mm. I'm not really sure what's in that. It tasted really nice though. Is it pork? Yeah, we've got like minced pork stuffed into it. They're really nice though. So what I've got, it looks like Morning Glory. It's got pork in as well, so I don't really... Well, I do know what it is. Is it Morning Glory? Let us know. We think it is. It looks yeah, like it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's got a really distinct flavour, but I don't know what it is. You know what it is. Oh, let me try then. It's like on green Thai curry, lemongrass. Ah, our favourite. Yeah. Mm. Lemongrass. That is really good. So they obviously spice it with what we call a Chinese... <laughs> the kick in the back of the throat at the end, did you not get that? No, no. Ooh. So what we call like a Chinese spice, Chinese fire spice and stuff, um, it's a bit like that uh, with lemongrass. That's what it sort of tastes like. Mm, really fresh. But these spices are obviously like Asian, like universal toy blah 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 but yeah really fresh but the best to last we've got a chocolate and banana roti and it's green never had a green roti it's a really big one as well i've had quite a few of these i'm not gonna lie 
Let's have a bit. I think you should have a good bit as well. Grab a stick, get a bit. So we've got banana, condensed milk, and chocolate on it. Literally freshly made. Let's go. Ah. Mm. Mm. Oh, good. Yeah. Good crunch. Good crunch. Cracking crunch. Really sweet banana. And then the sauce, the sweet sauce at the end, just it all combines together and it tastes fantastic. Best thing about it, like obviously where it's a pancake, it's not like a sometimes the pancakes look sludgy, but this is like crispy. Crispy. That's crispy. what I like about it so yeah, much. It's really good. The crispy texture. I don't like when your food is all the same texture in your mouth. It's just not fun. Yeah, it was quite good watching them make it as well. It and good. it was only 35 bar, and this is probably one of the biggest ones I've ever had. You go where the locals go, not where the tourists go, you get... The little side streets. The, obviously in Thailand, everywhere you go, you get good food, whether it's touristy or local. But in the local, you get the local prices, which is spot on. Mm. But anyway, right, this was a totally off-the-cuff video. We looked out our window, saw the street vendors, they said, get the camera out, let's go and eat some stuff. Because that's what we do, we're on tour with treasures. <laughs> <laughs> but, next video... We're going to try the most famous Pad Thai in Bangkok. Our favourite food. Our favourite food, so subscribe. <laughs> Every single street meal, every Thai food. Hello. 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 How are you guys? Good. Hi. Oh, from Indonesia. And this pork, I was looking forward to seeing this pork. I was looking forward to trying this pork. I've got like, what I've got is like, it looks Hold like- on, I need to sneeze, sorry. Sorry. I've lost it. Okay, don't worry. Go on, go on. Oh god. Let's bring the camera closer.